Hey there, GitHubbers. Uh, this is Zeke coming to you again from a van. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on our internationalization efforts on uh, the Electron project. So back in November of last year, we published a new version of our Electron website at a new domain, electronjs.org. And this new site is internationalized. And in the few months uh, since we released it, we've seen uh, participation from hundreds of uh, volunteer translators. So you can see here on this languages page, uh, we have a number of languages that are nearly 100% translated, which is very exciting. Um, we're using a tool called Crowdin, which is a, a localization platform that uh, enables crowdsourced translation. It's very easy to use. And we've, you can see we've got uh, 851 people who have uh, translated content for Electron so far, which is great. Um, and we've seen over a million strings translated in just these few months. Um, we've added a few new features to the site recently. Um, uh, one of the more interesting ones is if you are viewing the site in another language, um, there's now an option to toggle any part of the documentation back and forth between English and the, the language you're viewing. And uh, this feature was developed by Vanessa on our team um, in response to having seen a similar feature on the Angular docs. And what's really useful about this is that if you're reading the docs in translation, sometimes you may be skeptical about the quality of the translation and being able to toggle back and forth between English gives you a way to know for sure what it is that you're actually reading. Uh, another interesting thing that's happened recently is uh, when you're viewing the documentation, you can on any page, so let's say we're, we're in looking at French right now, if you get to the bottom of the page, there's actually a link now uh, that allows you to jump straight to the Crowdin URL for the given document that you're viewing. So if you are a French speaker and you want to help translate the auto updater docs into French, uh, forgive my poor internet connection, um, you can actually just jump straight into that uh, translation interface really easily now. So that just shipped on the website. Uh, lastly, but definitely not leastly, is um, the involvement from the Node.js project. So uh, Node.js has recently formed an internationalization working group, and they are following Electron's lead in uh, the approach that they're taking for localizing and internationalizing the Node.js project. So Vanessa and I recently uh, landed our first PR on this I18N repo on the Node.js organization. And essentially what we're doing is taking the same approach that we did for Electron for Node.js. So stay tuned for internationalized and localized versions of, of Node.js documentation in the coming months. That's it. Thanks.